fifth annual symposium and I just want to bring to you guys some of the stuff you're missing. A couple of tables and speakers that you didn't get to hear, um, which you need to go check out online if you didn't get to hear it. But uh, tell me what you got here and yeah. what you do. Yes, yeah, so my name is Russ King. Our, our company is called Coded Energy and we're the developers of Quick Model 3D. It's a load calc and duct design software. Um, it's award winning, brand new. It's uh, written in a video game platform. So oh, wow. It's, That's it's more like cool. Minecraft than, uh, uh -huh. than Rightsoft. So it's uh, my son's the programmer and um, um, we, uh, we've been out about three years um, and we're working with uh, a company called Cubicasa now. Okay. Um, so what it does is it, our software takes a 2D floor plan and imports it into a 3D world and you build the house on top of it like Minecraft ah, and, okay. and that does all the takeoffs for you. So yeah. it's, it's tabulating all the areas of the floors and the walls and everything and then you tell it what kind of walls, what kind of floors, what kind of ceilings and it does the load counts for you. But the problem with existing homes is you don't usually have a floor plan. Right. And so we're working with a company called Cubicasa which is a phone app and you scan your house and it creates a floor plan of your house that looks like an architect. That's awesome. And, and okay. So that can be imported, but but even more than that is they're going to create a file that can be opened in our software to make the house already in 3D. So yeah. you don't have to build it in 3D. So that's yeah. we're really really excited about that. In fact, we've made doing load counts so easy, or at least the data collection portion of it. They're, they're, now we want to involve the homeowner. We think a homeowner could actually do load counts on their own house. Well, that's different. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So all right. So we have a program. It's called DIYLoadCounts.com. Okay. And uh, it walks the homeowner through the process of scanning their house. They send us that file. They fill out an online survey about the age of the house, and yeah. the address, all that good stuff. We plug that all into the software for them. And, uh, and then we give them back the load calculation with a lot of educational material and things like that. Yeah. But the important thing is they also get the file for our software. Okay. So if they yeah. find a contractor who uses our software, that contractor can open it up and then all the work's done for them. Nice. The done all the data collection. And then they can fine tune the lows. They can do the manual D duct design and everything like that on top of it. So, wow. So we're really excited about that. I, just, there's so many times I'm in somebody's home and they're like, what size AC should it actually be in this house? They're just, I could be there yep. for a maintenance and they're not having problems, but they're wondering, they're questioning that. Yes. And something like, well, that's going to take a load count. That's not what I'm here to do today, exactly, but. Yes. You could actually do it yourself. Yes, you can. That, that'd be, you can. Yeah, that's really yeah. cool. And I'm on a lot of Facebook groups where homeowners post questions. Mm -hmm. And it seems like about 80% of the time, the answer is do a load count. Yeah. You know? and, yeah. And they'll say, well, who can do that? Can anybody here do that for me? How can I do it? Well, yeah. they can do it themselves. It's not that difficult. I had my 83-year-old mom scan her house, and it turned out perfect. So, <laughs> that's awesome. So it's that easy. It really is. Is she looking for a job, by the way? Because <laughs> yeah. we, we're hiring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, there's... There's 80 million single family homes in the United States. They all need a load count. Yeah. At the rate we're going, they're never gonna get done. Yeah. And you know, there's situations where you got three or four contractors bidding on one job. Technically they should all be doing a load count. Right. But on the same house, that's a that's a horrible waste of energy and a waste of time. Sure. And that's one of the main reasons they don't do it because they realize it's a waste of time. What if you showed up to a house and say, Hey, I, I want to bid your replacement and the homeowner says, Yeah, cool, here's my here's my load count. Wow. And that here's would, the file that you can open up. It'd be a jaw jaw dropping moment yeah, for sure. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. yeah. So that's okay. what we're hoping for and that, that's what uh, we're pushing. So Cool. Yeah, well, how's the time. how's the conversation and involvement from everyone here been so far? It's been really good. It's been really good. And I, I knew there was going to be a little bit of pushback because DIY uh -huh. in, in the HVAC uh -huh. world like, yep. like just brings up horrible A little comments. bit of panic yeah, immediately exactly, hits. Exactly. Well, for two reasons. They're going to mess it up terribly <laughs> yeah. or they're going to be smarter than me when I show up at the door. So I was very aware of that. You know, I didn't want I didn't want us to become the Mr. Cool of our calculations. Sure, you know? sure. So, so... It's, it, and honestly, it, it's a little bit misleading to call it DIY load counts because they're not doing the load counts. They're just collecting the sure. information. They're giving it back right. to us. And that's certainly something they can do. Yeah. Um, and I review a lot of load counts for, for programs and rebate programs and stuff like that. And some of the stuff I see, yeah. is, it's not a very high bar to, to, to surpass. Uh, the other thing I was going to ask is uh, if you had like a, um, maybe a, a practical point from the talk that you gave. Um, um, or anything for technicians to take away? Yeah, so I gave I actually gave two presentations. One one was on heat pumps. We called it the how to avoid the heat pump revolt of twenty twenty six. Okay. 
And so the important thing there is, is to load calculations. Yeah. So if you don't have load calculations, you're not measuring. Right. And you know, I've, I've resorted to shaming contractors. <laughs> I've begged them, I've asked them, I've pleaded with them. I've now to now we're now reaching I'm shaming. shaming. Yeah. This yeah. is so easy now. Yes, yeah. yes. So, so what I say is, uh, you know, if you're a professional um, carpenter, the, the, the saying is measure twice, cut once, yeah. right? Well, yeah. I'm not a professional carpenter, so I'll measure once. Mm -hmm. I usually end up cutting twice, right. okay? Uh -huh. But if you're not doing load calculations on a house, you're not measuring at all. Yeah. You're guessing. Yeah. And how can you call yourself a professional if right. you're not even measuring? You're just 500 square feet per ton, you know? This worked for the last guy. Right, right. exactly, yeah. exactly. So I, I, think, I think it's time that our industry you know, gets with it and, and does what's right. It's good. Yeah. Something that you've said a lot when you're talking about heat pumps is uh, a lot of people really didn't like heat pumps when they first came out, but that's because we were doing a lot of the measurements uh, incorrectly. And, uh, yeah. Right. A lot more prone. If you all, were, all the bad. They got things, a bad rep. All the bad yeah. things you hear about heat pumps is not an equipment problem; it's an installation problem. Yeah. It's a design problem and an installation problem. It's the installer's fault, it's not the yeah. equipment's fault. And that's because they weren't doing low counts. They weren't. They weren't measuring. So. Yeah. It's good. Hundred percent. Well, I appreciate you uh, coming out. Not only. Uh, helping support what we do, but also giving back with education and teaching us. And glad to have you. It's my pleasure. This is a great, great event. And everything you guys do is just fantastic. Really appreciate it. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, hvacrschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast, available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications, available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex by Tex.